Most people only think about yoga as just an exercise, but however, yoga is a vast science of human psychology and spiritual transformation, which includes physical and mental health as a prerequisite for further progress. Yoga, as it was practiced in ancient Kemet, included the disciplines of virtuous living, dietary purification, the study of the wisdom teachings, and their practice in daily life, psychophysical and psychospiritual exercises, and meditation. Practitioners of India Yoga, Buddhist Yoga, and Chinese Yoga, Taoism, today refer to all of these disciplines as yoga disciplines. Therefore, the ancient Egyptians were the first practitioners of yoga philosophy in our history. Through a process of gradually blending these in our course of ordinary life, an individual can effect miraculous changes in their life and thereby achieve the supreme goal of all existence, the goal of yoga, the union with the higher self. Know that yoga in all its forms was first practiced in Egypt earlier than anyone else in our history. This unique perspective from Africa provides a new way to look at life, religion, and the discipline of psychology. Perhaps more importantly though, Egyptian mythology, when understood as a system of yoga, gives every individual insight into their own divine nature. The ancient Kemetic equivalent of yoga is Sama, which means union, equating it with the term yoga as it is used in India. In conjunction with the symbol Ta, which means land, Sama Tawi means a union of two lands. In ancient Kemetic philosophy, the upper land relates to the divinity of Heru, who represents the higher self, and the land of lower Egypt relates to Set, the divinity of the lower self. So samatawi means the union of the two lands, or the union of the lower self with the higher self. The lower self relates to that which is negative and uncontrolled in the human mind, while the higher self relates to that which is above temptations and is good in the human heart. Heru's struggle symbolizes the struggle of every human being to regain rulership of the higher self and to subdue the lower self. With this understanding, the land of Egypt is equivalent to the kingdom concept of Christianity. Kemetic philosophy may be summed up in the following proverbs, which clearly state that the soul is heavenly or divine, and that the human being must be taken to the true reality, which is the spirit, self. Salvation is freeing the soul from its bodily feathers, becoming a god through knowledge and wisdom, controlling the forces of the cosmos instead of becoming a slave to them subduing the lower nature and through awakening the higher self ending the cycle of rebirth and dwelling with the natures who direct and control the great plan self-knowledge is the basis of true knowledge salvation is accomplished through the efforts of the individual there is no mediator between man and his salvation